Hey everyone, Joel Anster, and today we're in Ankeny? Ankeny, basically Des Moines, Iowa, outside Jethro's Barbecue, guys. The famous Jethro's Barbecue. This is definitely one of the best known restaurants in the area, and let me tell you why. Well, besides the great food and the service and all the locations, it's because they were on Man vs. Food, yes! And they have the very famous Adam Emmenecker Challenge. So Adam Emmenecker was a very famous, I guess, college uh, basketball player from this Des Moines area. And this challenge consists of all his favorite foods. So it is a bun, it is a pork tenderloin, it is multiple chicken fingers that are uh, with buffalo sauce on them. We have deep fried cheese curds. We have a steak burger. We have a spicy pickle. We have a, a pound of brisket. Um, some cheese sauce, I think there's some other sauces and all kinds of other stuff on here. Plus it's served with a pound of their fries. So overall there's a five pound-ish challenge. The difficulty is you only have 15 minutes. Yes, only 15 minutes. So this location has had about six winners, six or seven winners, um, one being Molly. Molly Schuyler actually holds the record of all the locations. She did it in something like three minutes or something. So we're n I'm not even gonna try to touch that. Molly's a beast. Um, but at this location, I think the current record, she also has at about eight minutes, 40 seconds, something like that. She has all the records at all locations. She's done this a number of times. This place also is a huge wall of shame. There has been countless, 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 countless attempts. Um, so yeah, anyway, let's hope we don't get on the wall of shame. Hope we can complete this challenge. You guys have been telling me to come do this challenge for years now, so I'm super excited to actually get here and do it. Adam Richman, again, did try this challenge in 2010, and he actually failed it, but he was really, really close. So hopefully we can beat this famous man versus food, food challenge, and uh, at that, that's pretty much it. We'll get you the rest of the details. We'll head in, let's have some fun with these food. Let's get eating. Welcome to competitive food eater, Joel Hansen. He is going to be attempting our Ebenecker challenge this evening. Joel has 15 minutes to eat a four pound sandwich, one pound of waffle fries. This flopping sandwich includes bun, our world famous spicy pickles, tenderloin, buffalo chicken tenders, fried cheese squares, cheese sauce, bacon, sliced brisket, and a cheeseburger. Along with that, he's got the one pound of waffle fries. We have to do so in 15 minutes. He is not allowed any help from any of his fans this evening. If he can do so in three minutes and one second or under, he will receive a $5,000 check from us this evening. Everybody, let's give him a big round of applause. Alright everyone, so here we are with the challenge. Definitely a big, big, big sandwich. What I do really appreciate is they did weigh this all out, so it is very, very legit. So again, we have the pound of these lovely looking waffle fries, pound of brisket, all the tenderloin, everything. Um, yeah, it's a lot of food. I do have some ketchup. I got some of their signature barbecue sauces. How can I not? They're in little bears too, which is pretty cool. Um, I gotta pee, but I'm gonna wait because I wanted to get started into this food before it cools off anymore. It's just gonna get more difficult. So I have the pickle here. This is apparently made with reapers and ghost peppers. They said they made it extra spicy for me. I don't know why people think I, I wanna die all the time. Um, but I'm ready. Is everybody else ready? Okay. So I think the timer starts like at what, first bite? Can I take this out? Okay. All right, so let me, let me take these thingy things out. And um, how about we get a rockin' and a rollin'? So I'm ready, restaurant is ready. ready? So how about we start, we'll say the count of? Ready? Five, five four, four, three, two, two one. one! Let's eat. Mm. Pork tenderloin. Very good. It actually tastes great. Chicken finger. And brisket, lots of brisket. Mm. Oh wow, that's good.
I was worried it might be tough, but it's super tender, super moist. Love it. Hey everyone, welcome to Zooter. Today we are here at Jethro's Barbecue in Ankeny, Iowa, although there's many around the Des Moines area. Super excited to he be here taking on the Adam Emenecker Challenge. This is a challenge that I have been hoping to do for many a years. Anytime anybody mentions the Midwest or just famous food challenges, this one definitely comes up because it was one of the few remaining man versus food food challenges um, from the series with Adam Richmond. And it is, again, just very well known in the area. Oh no! Somebody hold this right above the camera, please. Thank you. Right here? Right, right, right. Yeah, right, right. Thank you. Technical difficulties. <laughs> Thank you. And you guys can talk and stuff too, and you can cheer and everything. <laughs> mm. Great sauces, guys. The challenge itself is literally a pile of food. Like, that is basically what it's intended to be. It's literally like, again, the Adam Emenecker, the gentleman's favorite foods, all piled up in a outrageous burger. Um, that being said, it's pretty dang delicious. It's an odd combo, some of them, but it all goes very, very well. Honestly, this is delicious, guys. I am a fan. You have 30 seconds to make $5,000. <laughs> I'm not happy with <laughs> It's a lot of money though. Got a burger. Mm. So I definitely heard that this challenge was very difficult because of all the different foods. Like eating different textures can be quite difficult. However, I found all the different meats, you know, despite having different textures and even everything on there, um, was actually quite easy to eat. It was cooked properly it was moist it was juicy and uh, i was thoroughly enjoying it i had a big pile of their barbecue sauces there i think my favorites were the original and the carolina more chicken <laughs> but the food in general on the challenge was seasoned very well the burger patty was you know had a nice salt and pepper on it um, the chickens were all soaked in a buffalo sauce and uh, like I said, really there was no complaints. Um, I knew it was gonna be quite difficult because there's only a 15 minute time limit. Pork tenderloin. It's actually super delicious, guys. And that's really what makes this a true challenge. That 15 minute time limit really, really differentiates um, you know, the eaters from the non-eaters. Um, that's what got Adam Richmond. He was pretty close, I will say, um, impressively close, but it is five pounds of food, which even at that, only probably about one in 20 people can eat five pounds of food, but then throw on that 15 minute time limit and then there's a lot more difficulty, that is for sure. At one of the Jethro's locations, you have the option to get it with tater tots versus their classic waffle fries. And they do consider that like a completely different time record and everything. So arguably like almost a different challenge or at least like a very distinctly different variant of the challenge. Most of the burger down, a bit over four minutes in. I'm gonna put some of this Carolina, of, uh, Carolina vinegar sauce on these fries. And let's get into all these french fries. Mm. Good sauce. But we had the traditional variant in front of us with the waffle fries, which I gotta say, they were really good as well. Like I said, I put that uh, Carolina vinegar sauce on them. Man, that stuff was dang good. Um, and again, just kind of dipping it in that uh, barbecue sauce and ketchup and everything for some more lubricity, some flavor. And uh, at that, that's pretty much all the info I have for you today. Again, it was a, about a $37-ish meal. Um, we'll call it 40 bucks if we were to fail. And if we were to win, we're gonna get the free meal and the t-shirt. Now this actually is a $5,000 burger challenge. If you can beat Molly's record of, you know, three minutes, one second or whatever it is, you will get $5,000. I gotta say though, um, Molly is a beast. She is, uh, you know, when it comes to eating like complex, hard to eat chewy food, she can just swallow them like nothing. I think that record is gonna be there probably for forever. And or, I mean, hey, I know I, know I couldn't beat it. Um, 
but you know I will say I probably could have went slightly quicker than I was going but not by much um, at that everyone though let's hopefully uh, complete this challenge and let's see what happens this is actually delicious though I love all the sauces man Cheese. <laughs> Literal wads of cheese. They're very cheesy. I tell you, that pickle, that pickle is spicy. It's, I'm feeling it. Like, excuse me. Compliments to the chef. I lots air in me, guys. My mouth is really burning. They, like I said, they. they it's, it's a hot one. You said you kicked that pickle up. They really kicked that pickle up. I tell you, man, that is a, that is a spicy pickle. But I want to give a huge thanks to everybody here at Jeff Rose. It was an awesome place here, guys. Thank you so much for coming out. Um, thank you all, guys. You guys can clap and stuff. It's okay, like I said. I could tell everybody was trying to be quiet, but I was saying, I was like, you don't have to be quiet. But I will say, guys, that was actually super, super, super delicious. If I would have had more time, I would have thoroughly in, like taken it and enjoyed it. The brisket was awesome. It was super tender. Great flavor on it. That was definitely my favorite meat on there. Uh, the chicken fingers were great and tender. The uh, pork tenderloin was fantastic as well. The, you know, believe it or not, even those cheese balls, blocks, cubes were actually pretty dang good. The fries were good, which which is, you know, like says something. And the fries in this Carolina vinegar was were delicious Carolina barbecue sauce. Really nice acidity. I had all the other sauces, the original and the Georgia. It was great, guys. Um, but like I said, huge thanks to all the staff. So for completing it, we do get the meal for free. We do get sent a t-shirt, which is pretty cool. Um, we did get the new record here at this location. Again, only at this location. That being said, that's kind of what I hoped for. I knew I wasn't going to be able to do it in three minutes. Um, but if you do, you will get 5,000 bucks. So whoever can do it, congratulations to you. But this was awesome. I know many people have done this challenge like multiple times and I see why. I loved it. It was great. 
So with that, if you're ever in the Des Moines and surrounding area, guys, definitely stop on by um, your local Jethro's. Again, their sauces are great. The food was actually really, really, really good. And I got no complaints. So like I said, guys, huge thanks to somebody here. And uh, actually, I think they maybe have a shirt for me now, which is pretty Large. cool. Uh, medium, if possible. I'll show you that with my with my my, my foodie hands. Congratulations! Thank you so much. Woo! You're let's welcome. see. What does this say? It says, "Vote for Jethro." Woo! Woo! So we'll definitely do that, guys. And don't go bacon my heart. Don't go bacon my heart. All right. Anyway, like I said, everybody, that was awesome. Loved this challenge. So glad I finally got to do it. Again, one of those few left from the Man vs. Food show. Very legendary. So. Thank you everybody for recommending it. Again, thank you everybody here. And uh, that everyone, until next time, of course, stay happy out the hungry, happy eating, and that's about it. Have a lovely day. everyone and we are in the uh, Iowa State Capitol we're about to start this tour apparently it's 90 minutes I'm not gonna stay the whole 90 minutes um, and you are allowed to bring your pistols and handguns in which is kind of cool they were pretty good. They, uh, wow this yeah. is stunning Wow, yeah. Through, well, 1846, we became the 29th state. Uh, it would have been right in the middle of the Mexican-American War. It would have been President James Polk, hence Des Moines and Polk County. Mm. So it kind of ends during that time period. So just as you look, it continued to be China right now. They kind of had a sister state type deal going on. Um, could you imagine standing at the top of the grand staircase with the backdrop, working your way down into the rotunda? Uh, so it's kind of cool. And these are the original stairs. And then if you think about all of the marble detailing you have and the banisters that go up, that's alabaster that they come in and touch and it was all hand carved because their ocean laws aren't as strict as ours are. I'm going to I guess they wanted to keep the company in business. And here we have the library, which is just absolutely immense. Stunning. Look at all the books, the spiral staircases, crazy. And this is super cool. So this guy is all the way over there. And look how clearly we can hear him. It's called the Whispering Station. Wow. 